Hey guys, um, over the last few, well, probably a year and a half, or as long as the brushless motor has been going, I've been designing and making, or at least creating these for clients, which of course you'll all recognize as the uh, brushless three-axis gimbal, be it for the multi-rotor or for the handheld. Um, so I've been doing this, and over the last, yeah, for that period of time, I've actually found that the feedback that I've got is, depending on the lens that people are using, they actually find that the movement, of course it takes out the X and the Y, but it doesn't take out the Z axis movement. It takes out obviously the rotation, but not the up and down. So for the last few months, I've been developing something that has been mixing two forms of technology, which of course you all recognize this, um, which is a type of um, Steadicam rig, which of course you can see the two arms that compensate uh, that you wear a jacket, which of course is big and cumbersome, no one likes using them. So of course I've mixed the two together um, and created um, what I would probably hope and say is the first four axis gimbal. Um, you can see here, it's just a handheld, you can put it on your shoulder, um, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I think it's the first, I haven't seen another four axis gimbal out there, but this compensates for um, movement uh, if you're running, for example, uh, depending on what you're doing. Um, I haven't got the actual gimbal itself working at the moment, it's just fixed. Um, but you can see see the movement there. Um, um, so yeah, just moving up and down. Any vibrations just compensates for it. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you this. Um, hope you like it. I don't know if we're going to go into production. Um, but uh, we'll let you know this is through Rotorized Drone Tuner uh, and aerobotics.co.uk. Um, we work together and create these things and come up with new solutions and ideas. Uh, but I thought I'd let you uh, have a look and see. So here you are. <laughs> 